The chart shows how Lilia damage over cooldown or CD compares to other mages. Lilia has the second highest damage over CD. Hi everyone, welcome to AOG channel where we analyze games so you don't have to. In this video, I'll present the best mage for season 31. Starting this season I'll only release videos on best hero on third weeks onwards as Moonton usually does hero balance adjustment on the first two weeks of the season. We will use the following method to select the best five mages for this season. First, we will choose the best overall mage. This mage will perform well under any conditions. Second, we will choose the mage with highest burst damage. Third, we will choose two mages with highest sustained damage. These mage can deal high damage continuously. And lastly, we will pick a mage which I personally think is the best for solo ranked games this season. Let us begin. Valentina is best overall mage simply because she can copy enemies' ultimate ability. The only way to counter Valentina is to pick hero with weak ultimate however this is usually not possible because it will weaken the team overall ability. You can always see Valentina in high tier tournament because she can be used to counter enemy hero with strong ultimate or discourage enemy team from picking hero with strong ultimate. Even without ultimate, Valentina's skill 1 and 2 can deal large amount of damage and it's sufficient to kill low HP hero at mid to late game. Among all one-shot mages, Kadita is the best because she can deal most burst damage. One-shot mages usually attack with crowd control effects such as stun on enemy followed by skill attack with high damage. Their combo attack can kill squishy hero easily. Most one-shot mage with the exception of Kadita are very easy to play and is highly recommended for new player. The chart shows how Kadita burst damage compares to other mages. Lilia is very powerful because her skill has high damage and short cooldown period. At maximum level and full build, she can cast skill 2 almost indefinitely. Without cooldown, Lilia's skill 2 attack is even better than Varlir's skill 1 attack which requires the skill to hit enemy hero in order for cooldown of that skill to reset. With low skill 2 cooldown and her ultimate which restores her health and mana, Lilia is easily one of the best mages for season 31. The chart shows how Lilia damage over cooldown or CD compares to other mages. 
Lilia has the second highest damage over CD. Varlier has the highest damage over cooldown period because his skill 1 cooldown is reset every time the skill hit enemy hero. If zero skill cooldown is not enough, Varlier skill attack damages enemy based on their max HP. This means Varlier doesn't need to rely on magic equipment to boost his damage, his inherent damage is good enough to take on high HP target. Only three other mages have this capability. Lunox, Novaria, and Vixana's Undead Knight. With skill 1 and skill 2 plus his ultimate ability to remove control effect, Varlier is one of few mages that can take on melee hero directly. Since there's no cooldown for Varlier's skill 1, his damage over CD is infinity. Vexana is my personal favorite this season because she has excellent combination of crowd control, damage, and her ultimate, Eternal Guard, can easily break enemy attack formation in a team fight. On top of that, she can clear off minions very quickly which means she can help allies at side lanes more frequently. With the speed increase of her skill 1 and 2 on the recent update, it's easier for her to hit enemy with her skills. I highly recommend Vixana if you're playing solo ranked games. There you have it, the best mage heroes for season 31. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.